Welcome back to another edition of Myth Badger videos. Let's take the belt drive that we built in a prior video and examine it to understand mechanics for how it works. First things first is we want to identify our input and output. Based on what you see, which gear do you feel is going to be the input gear? Well, if you're identifying this as the input, you would be correct because the handle is attached to that particular drive shaft. So now let's take a look at the drive shafts. We notice that kind of like in some of our other basic gears, like the chain drive and simple gear, that we see that the drive shafts are parallel between the two gears. This is useful to note because if you are needing a gear that actually changes the direction of the drive shaft, then this is not going to be the one you want to use. So now let's understand a little bit about the gear ratio. As you see, the gears we're using do not have teeth. So now we have to look at the diameter of the gear to calculate the gear ratio. So what do you think the gear ratio is going to be on our gear here? Okay, so you may be saying, well, they look like they're the same size gear, so they must be a one-to-one -one ratio. But let's go ahead and examine it for ourselves. If we look, we see the gear size is measuring out at about one and one-eighth of an inch across the diameter on both gears. So one and one-eighth divided by one and one-eighth would end up being a one-to-one -one gear ratio. So you are correct on that one. And because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, that means our speed and torque are going to be constant in the current setup. If we wanted to change the speed or torque, what would need to happen? Well, you would be correct if you said that we need to change the size of either the input or the output gears. As long as they're different sizes, we would increase or decrease both speed and torque. Okay, so now let's take a look at the flow of power on this system. Is the flow of power reversible? Can I make this system work just by turning the output? Well, let's take a look. Ah, you can see that yes, I am able to make this work by turning the output gear. So the flow of power is reversible in the system. That also means we need to look at the direction of travel. Can I turn this handle both directions? Let's take a look at that too. As you can see, I can rotate both clockwise and counterclockwise, so the direction of travel is reversible as well. So the last thing we want to take a look at is to look at how the direction of each individual gear turns with respect to the other one. So does the output turn the same direction as the input and vice versa? So I'm going to go ahead and turn this handle to see if that is true. If you're looking carefully, you'll notice that the input and output gears are both turning in the same direction which is great, that's helpful to know, but it is actually possible to make this system turn so they are turning in opposite directions. To do that, I'm gonna take this rubber band off, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it around, and I want to cross the rubber band here in the center. When I do that, look what happens to the direction of the input and output gears. Now we see they actually turn in opposite directions. That makes the belt drive a useful gear if you ever need to vary the gear direction in some way. So if you need that ability to change from one direction to the opposite direction, then the belt drive is a useful gear system to consider implementing. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at that, let's real quick go ahead and review. You have a one-to-one -one gear ratio between the input and output because we looked at both gears and the diameter is the same. The flow of power is reversible in the system as is the direction of travel. So I can turn it this way and make it work. Our speed and torque, however, as you saw, will stay constant unless we change the size of the gears. The direction the input and output shafts turn with respect to each other is also going to change depending on whether the pulley is crossed, or in our case, the rear band is crossed, or if it's allowed to just loop around. And that will change the direction the shafts turn. So thank you for watching and feel free to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all future tutorials here at MythBadger Videos.